while school only gives you your maths, English and science, your curricular knowledge, it doesn't really give you sort of a working knowledge of the outside world, which is really what you need. We're not taught how to like open bank accounts and look for jobs and apply for them. The kind of skills that teach you how to carry yourself as an individual, as a, as a professional, and even with uh, education and qualifications it's it's not enough there has to be something else there and so um, I feel like this scheme was sort of looking out looking more broadly at what you'd need as an individual so Cornfields is a children's charity and um, it used to be a family hospital so back in the sort of early 19th century uh, a lot of children were being made orphans, left on the street, so Cornsfield essentially was a refuge. Uh, from there it sort of snowballed into a charity especially for children and providing positive activities. I run the Employability Scheme here at Cornsfields, which is a scheme that equips young people with the skills and knowledge to confidently enter the world of work. I was really passionate and excited to take charge of this project because I can relate firsthand to how difficult it can be to get a job specifically in this climate. Young people don't necessarily have um, the right knowledge that's been passed down to them and that sort of disables them from being able to walk into these industries um, easily, especially young people from certain, certain social backgrounds. Um, my fears were going into the well, the professional world, it's like being judged. Yeah, it's really important for us to like to get jobs and all that because like we are the next generation. My name is Mitch uh, and I am the business manager here at In Midtown. We are a business improvement district and we represent 570 businesses in kind of central London. So In Midtown wanted to fund Quorum Fields um, employability scheme because a lot of our businesses are really, really keen to get engaged with um, the local community. Um, and we have a really strong office base with loads of skills, loads of expertise. Uh, and we just thought that the ideal way for them to support the community is to impart those skills onto young people. Amongst all of our great partners, one of the organisations we worked very closely with was PhD. And together we built something called the Pioneers Project. PhD Pioneers program is uh, basically a mentorship program uh, running across seven months. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically seven sessions. Each session is run from a different person or company. We have some big names like Spotify, PhD people of course, uh, Daily Mirror, Sun Luke's creative agency. Uh, the purpose of each session is to um, help the young people to de develop uh, soft skills or even to be exposed to professional environments. So the session that we ran here uh, a couple of months ago was with myself and Chris Stoneman from our labor relations team and it was really to give um, the young people from Quorum's Fields a bit of an insight into what Spotify does, how, how we've gotten to where we are, how we grew, the speed that we have um, and just a, a real unique insight into what makes Spotify tick. So I've been running CV sessions for the Coram Fields Employability Scheme. Uh, I come down to the centre a couple of times a month um, and work with a series of young people, sort of one after another, maybe three at a time, um, go through their CV, bulk it out, uh, or they may not have a CV at all and so write it with them from scratch. I ran a session um helping the young people to boost their confidence with some tips and advice about interviews. 99.999% of the young people I've met are just desperate to get a job out there and they're desperate to please and they want to work and they want to build careers and I think they get knocked back lots of times so they need any support they can get. I think this was a really important project and I think it did really good things. Whilst I was on the scheme, um, we went to Sadler's Wells. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. I want to go into theatre and just watching them inspired me. One of the most memorable experiences I've had on the employability scheme was going to interview the editor of the Times a newspaper and it gave me an insight on how he works. It's only your hard work that gets you where you want to be, there's no other factors really prohibiting you. There was a session that was led by um, Al, who is the creative director of St. Luke's Creative Agency, and that was uh, that was really beneficial for me because I've always wanted to get into advertising, 
um, and it kind of opened my eyes to the kind of areas that they have available. What's really impressed me about Quorum's Fields is the really inquisitive nature of all the people we've met so far. These are people who are going to go really far in their careers, um, they're really ambitious, uh, they're not afraid to ask questions, and they've been the kind of questions that I'd be quite pushed to get from some of my top people. So we're offering um, a one-week placement for three people who have consistently performed in the programme and shown interest and a acumen for marketing and advertising. I really hope that these sorts of connections and work continues beyond this scheme. There are so many talented young people who are just not unfortunately being seen by the professional world. And by working together, hopefully we've started to bridge the gap in some way.